This video is brought to you by Rape. Nah, I'm kidding. Let's just get on with the video. What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Rookie to Master. We're continuing from where we left off with our Ice Barrier deck. Silver one at the moment. And today, let's see how far we could go in this episode. Too much yapping, not enough dueling. Let's get this show on the road. All right, so we left off at Silver one. We're a few games or maybe one game away from Gold one. Have you guys been playing the Duelist Cup? Because goddamn, I've lost every single game that I've played. Oh, we get to... We get to choose. We're going to go first. Hopefully, I, it's been a few days since I've used Ice Barrier. I, hopefully, I haven't forgotten the combos already. But let's see. We start off with Mirror Mage, the Ice Barrier. We're going to have to go into um, Salomon Grey, Al Mirage. He has no hand traps, so that's good. We've, we could get the board that we want. Uh, use the effect, please. Yes. And we're going to bring out... I've got a medallion. Yeah, we want, we want Speaker. Uh, speaker into the hand. And then we're going to use... No, we're not. I kind of fucked up. I was gonna... What am I doing? Game one and I fucked up already. I was meant to get freezing chains. Shit. Okay. Never mind. That's, that's first turn fucking wasted. This is why you're silver, Kai. Just saying. This was such a free first turn and I've gave it, give it, given it away because I forgot how to play. Great. Ah, you bell. Great. I don't have a board. And he's playing you, Bell. Guess what? Ain't no way I'm going to even try and play this. Maybe. Oh, Uriel Lord of Syrian Frames. Yes, yes. He's popping off. Dark Beckoning Beast. Great. Do we just go into game two? Fuck this. No, but I'm, I'm like one game away from gold. Yeah, no, I can't be asked. I fucked up. Next game, game one. Let's just pretend that last game didn't happen. We move on. I need a haircut, bro. What is this? Okay, this is a good hand, not gonna lie. We start with Hexar and Ice Jade. We could get a few um, cards to pop off. It's my turn. Why is it Why is it asking you for stuff? Oh, disconnect. Mr. J All right, we're gonna start our hand with the way we start every single time with a Hexar. We activate Hexar's effects and Mirror Mage into the graveyard. And then we pop off from there, this time properly, without um, fucking up. So we're going to take Speaker into our hand, this time. Uh, apart, I kind of like the normal combo for this deck and the way I've did, done it in my tutorial video. So the way I did it was, I would go into Coral Dragon and then Coco Pop Dragon. Croco Draw Dragon. But... Um, I've stopped doing that. I think getting Lancia and Dragai onto the field is more effective than actually going for Crocono or Croco Draw or whatever it's called, man. I feel like that's a better play from here, at least. We do go into Coral Dragon, but we use Coral Dragon for Lancia and then we get Dragai out as well. So then from here, we're going to go into Coral Dragon and with Coral Dragon, we're going to use to get Lancia and we're going to also get Ice Shade as well. I mean, we could go off into Coco Pops Dragon this turn. Yeah, let's. We need extenders. So we are going to go into Coco Pops Dragon since we do have an Ice Shade in our hand. So there's the Coco Dragon. And we want to activate the effect of both of them to draw more cards. And we're going to get more extenders in our hand this way. Wins over the Ice Barrier. Not bad, not bad. We have two. Yep. Set an Infinite Imperm. Play an Ice Shade. Let's discard one of the magic mages. Play Ice Jade. Yes. And then use the token. I mean, not the right extender that I was looking for, but it is what it is. And we can go for... I don't know. Do we go Aubergine? Nah, let's go Lancia. Lancia is our key card in this deck right now. Not a bad first turn. We got Lancia on the field and Coco Pops Dragon. Coco Pops Dragon can negate by discarding two cards from our hand. Even though it loses attack, it's like an upper loser, but it's not. So that's our... It's not a negate, but it's a destroy. So we can actually uh, pop off with that. Standby phase. Uh, okay, here we go. What are you playing? Mythical Beast Jackal. So one of our discards is obviously wins over the Ice Barrier. It has a graveyard effect. And we could get rid of another Mirror Mage. So we can get a Medallion into our hand. Set card as well. Is that a Pendulum? What are you doing? You don't want to attack. What are you doing? Okay. 
What is this ping? God fucking hell, man. He's destroyed. Just destroy his card. Okay, it's not the ping. He's just thinking. My bad. What are you doing, though? Okay. You special summoned. It's not the ping, is it? He's just doing random stuff. I don't know why Lancia didn't pop off, though. Because that was a special summon. Should ask me if I want to change his... Is it except damage step? Oh, okay. What is he doing? Is he just killing himself? Okay. Are we getting a free win? What's going on? Uh, we drew Hexa. Um, I'm going straight to battle phase. I'm not going to worry too much about anything else. Let's attack for 4,000. That back row is a bit... Yeah, as, as I thought. It's a GG. I don't know why he done that. But yeah, we gave a free loss. We took a free win. Um, it is what it is. A victory is a victory. V for Vendetta. Let's go. Number two game. Yes, let me see. Yes, okay. I don't know what I'm talking about. Next game. There we go. And that's our rank up to gold. Now we just keep going, baby. After four more wins. Oh, the struggle is real. First or second. Okay, so here's our first game in the gold rank with the Ice Barrier deck. Um, it's been pretty easy so far. The Duelist Cup has definitely uh, put, uh, put my hopes down the drain for the Ice Barrier deck. Because I've been losing a lot of the games for the, against these rogue decks. And I'm going to upload that content as well soon. We start off with a good hand, but we don't get... We do get first turn. Um, so we're going to go with the basic combo of Hexar into Mirror Mage, Magic the Gathering, send Magic the Gathering into the graveyard and just pop off with a normal combo. Continue our normal combo. I might go with the Dragite Lancia one for this one. Um, just for the simple reason of being first turn and having a negate spell, trap negate and a Lancia for the monsters is always good. Get Mirror Mage up to level 5 and bada boom bada bing. It's as easy as that. He has no hand traps, so it's looking good. We're going to use Medallion to get... What's his face? Gorgeous. We're going to get Gorgeous into the hand. That's going to be a free summon with the tokens on the field. And then we're going to bring in Speaker from the graveyard to send her back to the graveyard. So we get a free Lance here as well. So what you guys can do here is... After... Um, so let me just show you. After we go into Lance here, right? With the Coral Dragon and the speaker so here we go lance here is on the field we activate coral dragon's effect we draw one card right hexa is a great pull by the way now you can go into dragite straight off this so seven eight six seven eight or we could go into one of our level nine monsters which i think is uh we have coco pops dragon and we have trishula but i but i do prefer going for dragite because it can stop spell and trap cards for this case, we're just going to go into Dragite. Obviously, if they have attack position monsters, you go for White Whale and just get rid of the monsters if they can't negate. So this is a really strong board as well. Coco Pops Dragon, obviously, discard two, but I don't like the fact that I have to discard two from my hand. Now, I'm going to keep Ice Barrier Medallion um, for next turn, and we're just going to end turn, hopefully, now. Yes, okay. We have a Lancia for his monsters. We have a Dragite for his back row. It's a good hand. It's a good hand. We have Max C in our hand, but we don't have any other um, cards to play. Oh, is that Numeron Network? Yeah, it is. Here, I'm going to activate it because um, apparently I'm not going to activate it now. Yeah, now nah, fuck that. We're going to negate that. I don't know if he has another one, but if he does... That's how Dragite gone. I think he was going to get this out of the grave and then special summon all his Numeron Network cards. Yeah, there we go. Um, activate the effect of Lancia. Yes, we want to bring out Speaker from the graveyard. Could have brought General Raiho, but it's fine. So he doesn't have any other effects. He's just put a defense monster down. I might be able to get Baron de Fleur. I think that's what we're going to do. So we go Hexa into, uh, we send Magic the Gathering into the graveyard, activate its effect, bring Gorgeous into our hand. We have Medallion. We have Speaker already on the field. So Gorgeous into my hand. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Special Summon Gorgeous. Can't uh, do anything about its effect at the moment, but we're going to summon into Baron de Fleur. Because why not? I could get another 10 with Dragite. 
But I don't need to. The game's over. What am I doing? Activate effect. Oh, wait. No, the game is over. Destroy the cyber and dragon. Yep. Go to battle phase. End the game. Yep. Okay, there we go. Nice. Numero network. Numero network tid. That's our second game. Another victory. We're on our third game. Or fourth if you count the first game. But we don't talk about that. That was fucking reckless. But yeah. Okay, he gets to choose if we go first or not. Um, we are going second, apparently. That's fine. Now, the side frame gear, if that was Gamma, that would have been much better. But we've got two hexes. It's a good hand if he doesn't have negates. So, let's see what he plays. And that is what? Child's play. Each time your opponent summons a monster, gain 300 life points. Oh. Oh, that's rough. I don't have any hand traps. Oh, it's going to be a pendulum zone summon. Metal foes. Okay, he's going to pendulum summon. We need to make sure he doesn't get life points above 10,000. He's on 8,000 anyway. Your monst... What? Oh, no. He bricked. Oh, it's only by battle, so I could get him um, through effect. So, if I just go Baron de Fleur first turn. And I got an Ice Jade as well. Okay. We need to get rid of Child's Play first. After we get rid of Child's Play, then we can start playing. Because that, that card at the back is kind of what is limiting us. So if we go into Ice Jade, uh, that's not really going to do anything. We need to summon three times. Yeah, I think we have enough to actually get Baron the Fleur out first turn. That's a bit rough though. We're going to activate effect. We're going to get Gorgeous into the hand. Let's send Magic the Gathering into the graveyard get gorgeous into the hand right 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 and then we summon speaker which enables us to summon gorgeous that's fine sure and then we bring magic the gathering onto the field he's gonna gain another 300 he's not on 10,000 yet that's fine. He's going to get another 300 with Baron de Fleur. But that's absolutely fine. After Baron de Fleur, we good. He's going to draw a lot of cards, though. That's the problem that I'm having right now. That's fine. That's the last card you drew, my guy. And we're going to destroy that card. There we go. He has max C. So I don't really want to continue giving him cards at the moment. No, because he's then going to draw two more cards. Can I OTK is the question. With a lot of cards in his hand, probably not. Does he have any battle damage reducers? Um, we're either going to have to end the game, which I think we can. But he has he has a defense position monster, which is the problem. If I discard two card, destroy, I think we can win. Hold on. I'm going to try pop off, guys. Let's see. We have Baron de Fleur to negate any um, effects that he activates if we attack him. So him drawing cards isn't much of a problem if we can end the game this turn. So we're going to go into Coral Dragon. We're taking a risk here. We're taking a really big risk. Bring out Coral Dragon. We're going to go into Coco Pops Dragon. We're going to discard two cards from the cards that we draw. Side Frame Gate is an easy discard. We sh and then we could play Ice Jade to further up our attack. Um, let's see what cards do we draw he's still not getting asked anything so he has no hand traps ice jade is here we got forbidden droplet and stuff let's see discard frame gear and then discard freezing chains as well yep that's five six seven now if i play ice jade this should be the one to end I, but we also need to realize that Coco Pops Dragon is going down. We're going to summon Lancia. Is that not enough? Is that not enough? Ugh. He's going to have 200 life points. And he has so many cards in his hand. Shit. Um. Could I have played anything else? No, because I normal summoned already. I use Gorgeous's effect. I use Speaker's effect to special summon. Uh, there is nothing else I could have done just to get 200 more attacks in. I don't think so. 
now he has how many cards? He has like ten cards in his hand to make a play. And if he if he if he does pendulum, oh my god. If he pendulum summons, this is gonna be rough. Ah just needed two hundred more life points. Increase your life points by one thousand. Sure, that, that doesn't matter. I could take that down. If your life points were lower than your opponents when this card was activated, gain two thousand life points. What he's just gonna keep trying to up his life points, right? It's fine, I have 9,000 life points that I could take down. I have 9,300 life points I could take down. I just need to make sure he doesn't do any of this shit. Sure. Let me try to get rid of his pendulum summon first. He's, he probably has another card though. That he could play. Because I don't want him pendulum summoning, bro. Look how many cards he has. He could just summon his whole hand if he had to. Yeah, there we go. This is what I was expecting. Let's see how many cards he's actually going to summon. All five? All five slots, maybe? That's one. He's going to pop off a lot of... That's two. That's three. That's four. Or dies Pendulum Dragon. Are you going to fill up the field? Oh, my God. Um, Yes. We need Raiho on the field immediately. About any of the other cards, I need Raiho on the field. Where is Raiho? General Raiho. I need him to stop activating effects. Like every time you want to activate effect, you're going to get rid of a card, my friend. I'm not dealing with that. And then if we could get speaker, keep them in defense position, we'll be set. But yeah, there we go. That's the end phase. I can't discard anything at the moment. Infinite Imperm. So we activate effect. We're going to get rid of his Odd Eyes. Right. I don't want to play any other card right now. We're just going to go into battle. And then take them out one by one. So 2,500. Let's get rid of this card. I don't think he has any effects. From what I've read. To negate my attacks. Which is good. We're going to get rid of this next. We're going to get rid of this next as well and then his last card is gonna be this one nice all right so we cleared the field now the only problem is right stop rushing me game the only problem is he still has the pendulum things up and that's gonna cause problems but if he activates the effect we could baron the floor it we could also croco draw like one of his pendulum cards so he doesn't pendulum summon anymore because raiho's on the field now he's gonna have to discard a card Every time he activates an effect, so we'll, that's, we're going to get him down to a few less cards. Okay, Pendulum Summon. Yes. I hope you can't bring them, them back from the extra deck. Apparently you can. Bro, this is long. You know what? I think we go Speaker here. Yep, and then change the battle position of Odd Eyes. Thank you. Now we can't change into attack position. Yeah, I could use Croco Jaw to get rid of Hexa and like Forbidden Droplet. Since we don't really need Forbidden Droplet right now. Um, Flowenderies. He has no more cards in his hand though. So he can't activate any effects. I think he, he hasn't realized that. At the moment. So now he's going to go into something else. We're going to use Lancia's effect to change his battle position again. Um, yeah, but you can't activate effects my guy. Can we change his battle position please? Lancia. Lancia. It's once per chain. Well, you can't do that. You you can't do that. It's negated. My brother. Yes. You can't. Is it just monster effects? Yeah, okay. I want to use Lancia's effect to turn the card to defense position. Ah. Oh. I, I, at least we control the board. Why isn't Baron the, the Fleur's effect popping off? Is it because it's a Pendulum monster? What are you doing? Wait, you can't even do that without discarding, right? Oh wait, do Pendulum Zone not count as... Oh, he keeps um, getting new cards into his hand. No, you're going to get rid of one of my Rye Holes, man. Fuck it. We're gonna get rid of Hexo. We're gonna get rid of Forbidden Droplet. And we're just gonna destroy your card. Can't be asked. 
Yep, there we go. Nice. And there's our what, third, third victory of the day. And that was our final game of the day. We've still got a three out of three apart from that one misplay in the first game where we gave a free win. Um, just let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and uh, give me any suggestions on how to improve the series. Right now, I'm a bit confused as to if we're doing too little or too much for the amount of games we play. We got to Gold 5 this episode. Make sure to like, comment, share and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Kai logging out. Peace out.